Hello, and today we are discussing the MindDomo website that allows you to create mind maps to help keep you organized, to take notes, and to conduct research. This is the homepage of the website. So as you can see, right when you're on your homepage, when you've logged in, it shows you the previous maps that you've created. Um, for example, my invertebrates here. So let's create a new one by clicking the Create button. And as you can see at the top, they have just very simple uh, blank mind maps for you to use. And then if you scroll down, they have different templates that you can use. So if you want something that's a little more going on, you can click one of those to use. But today we're just going to use a blank mind map just to kind of get acquainted with the website. So as you can see, when you click on the mind map, it takes you to a very simple page where you can edit. So today we're going to just make an example and uh, we're going to start with planets. So this is my main topic. And then if I wanna insert subtopics, I click the little arrow on the top of my main topic and then I can click insert subtopics. So here is where I can create my other subtopics all around. And I can keep doing that until I have all the subtopics I want. And as you can see, I can also click here on my subtopic to insert a subtopic off of that. So, that's how I can sort of start my mind map here. If we go to the left, we can see that you can have an area to add notes. So if I wanted to add notes onto details, I could do this here and type whatever I need, change the font, make it bold, whatever I need to do. And then I can just click out of it. And then as you can see now, there are notes next to my subtopic here. So I'm going to close this out. You can also, I'm going to click back on my main topic. You can also go over here to the left and add hyperlinks and attachments. So you can click that. You can insert something that you found from the internet, or you can use anything that you've downloaded or created previously. If we go below, this is where we can add images. So again, it can either be something that we search for here or something that we've previously downloaded or something um, that we have put onto our computer. Again, that's just another way to attach it. And then we can also add icons down below with the smiley face. So if we click that, the computer's acting up a little bit. <laughs> so if we click this, it'll allow us to pick different types of icons if we want to do that. And it has emojis, all different kinds if that's necessary. Then we can click videos. So it already has searched a uh, YouTube for videos based on my main topic. And this is where you can see all of those that have to do with planets down below and you can insert those if you would like. Or you can attach videos you've already downloaded or you can um, insert a video URL that you found previously. Below this is audio. This is where you can um, if you need to include audio, you can do that here as well by browsing your computer that you've previously made, or you can uh, upgrade to record. That's always an option as well. And then this is where you can look for bookmarks that you've saved previously. And then there's a help option down here below. And so that's pretty much it on how to make your mind map. And if you go back to your main page it saves it for you and you can see that this is your planet's mind map and it will take you right back to it if you click on it and that's where you can finish editing as well and that's how you use mindomo